I'm working on my lettuce quilt today. Um, it's a whole cloth quilt and it's on white cotton sateen. Um, I decided to colour some of this quilt. It was um, a huge, huge decision. My original plan was always to colour it. But when push came to shove, uh, it was a big decision to make to actually start to colour a white 75 inch square quilt. Um, the binding's already on, the piping's on, the sleeve's on, everything's on except for the label. So that just shows you how much I was a bit nervous about starting to paint this quilt. But anyway, I started now so there's no going back. So I thought you might like to just take a look and see what I'm doing. I've got four of these little sections on this quilt. Um, my own design of a... Well, a Celtic design. I've already gone round with this... Um, I'm using Derwent pencils. And I've Inktense pencils. I've already gone round with this Ionian green um, pencil and put in some shadows, some shading around all the edges just to give a little bit of definition to this. Give it more of a 3D effect. Ionian green. Now I'm using felt green to put the colour in. Because this is um, cotton sateen, I need to put quite a bit of pressure on with these pencils. These are intense pencils, so they are very um, they're full of pigment pigment ink. It looks a bit wishy-washy now, but when we get the medium on it, or some moisture into it, it will bring out the colour. It's half past seven, Tuesday evening. It's hot as hell here in Scotland. 24 degrees here today, that's real hot for Scotland, especially where I live here in the borders. The guys have gone off to gather sheep, ready for clipping tomorrow. But it's real peaceful here in the studio. you need to stretch out the fabric a little bit so that you don't get little creases. A bit like uh, a bit like a man shaving his face. You've got to stretch out the skin a little bit.
looks pretty even. Maybe a little paler at this side. Sometimes these pencils have got to shine onto the point and you need to sharpen them. When they're really shiny, the colour doesn't come off too well. These Derwent pencils are made here in England. They're made down in the Lake District, not far from here. This is Green Aquamarine. I'm just using this to give a bit of colour and deepen the points. A little bit more shadow. want a very light touch with this colour. I've got four sections like this on this quilt. And like I said, it was a big decision. A big, oh. Once I started to colour it, there's no going back, of course, you've just got to get on with it. Mm. 